New Yorkers already on edge after the first case of Ebola was confirmed in the city have accused two policemen of negligence. The NYPD officers who attended the apartment of Dr. Craig Spencer, the first confirmed Ebola case, were spotted dumping their protective gear and caution tape into a rubbish bin on the street. Now, the pictures emerged online, sparking a Twitter outcry, with people accusing the officers of being irresponsible or even, quote, uh, losing their minds. Others criticized them not only for choosing the wrong place, but for not knowing how to dispose of the suits properly. A spokesperson for the NYPD, however, insisting the officers at no point came into contact with the patient or the patient's building. Reporting for RT in the Big Apple is Alexei Yeroshevsky. The top floors of the Bellevue Hospital in Midtown Manhattan, New York, is where the Infectious Diseases Department of the Bellevue Hospital is situated. And that's where, according to reports, the first person to contract the Ebola virus in New York City, Dr. Craig uh, Spencer, is now being treated. Now we understand, uh, according to the latest report, that his condition is stable. Uh, the authorities, all of them, from doctors to uh, city officials, are um, reaffirming the uh, population that they have situation under control. They came prepared and there's nothing to panic about, even considering the fact that uh, the doctor had traveled on uh, the subway. He had taken taxis and even went to a, a bowling game in uh, Brooklyn. Uh, last night, uh, the New York mayor and other officials gave a press conference. Here's, here's what uh, the New York mayor, Mr. de Blasio, had to say. New Yorkers who have not been exposed to an infected person's bodily fluids are not at all at risk. And we want to emphasize that New York City has the world's strongest public health system, the world's leading medical experts, and the world's most advanced medical equipment. We asked several uh, people in the streets of New York what they felt about this, whether the doctor should have been actually put under quarantine upon his return from West Africa. I think he should have been quarantined. I don't think it's safe to quarantine everybody, but at least make sure that they're okay before they go to work and then have them continue to check in to make sure that the symptoms don't come up since there's that 30-day period. Instead of course, of he should have been quarantined. If he was out in West Africa and he comes back to New York, I think that they should evaluate and see if he's doing well. We're watching the situation, how it unravels with uh, Craig Spencer here in New York in front of the Bellevue Hospital in Manhattan. Alexei Roshevsky, RT, reporting from New York City.